first things first when it comes to race day, and that is sunscreen. <laughs> So it's 6.45. 6.45. 40 minutes to the race? Yeah, what's that? 6.45, no it's 35 minutes to the race, I think. Good. Oh, how'd, you, how'd you sleep? Pretty good. I mean, you know, night before a race, so it's always kind of like Christmas Eve sort of sleep where you wake up a lot. And yeah. I think I was up at 4 a.m. My alarm didn't go up till 5, so I sort of just laid in bed yeah. trying to get as much rest as I could, but yeah, other than that. What have you had to eat this morning? I just had typical breakfast I have pretty much every day, Greek yogurt, cheese seeds, peanut butter, and then um, Skaterade and bananas now, and then race time. Let's go, you feeling good? Yeah, yeah, feel fine, you know, That's nice normal. and nervous, which is yeah. which is good I think, but yeah, just um, bikes all set up, and I'll do a quick like warm up and stretch routine now, but this is it, this is the big day. I love it. How are you feeling, Lauren? <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> Didn't have break. Lauren so, got up, we got pretty much straight at the car, so. <laughs> yeah, get so to the morning routine. And, Lockie, who's supporting the race today? I've got, well, I'm racing for Bottle It, so I'm racing in the, the floral suit. You'll see that in a minute when I put it on. And then um, my wheel sponsor, Carb Mafia, so I'm riding the Carb Mafia wheels, which are the same ones I did at Sunny Coast. And they're I was pretty stoked with them, so we're we going for them again. Yes, the card mafia yeah, had, of course. Oh. Look at them yo yos, that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working, that's the way you do it. Money for the world. That ain't working, that's the way you do it. Let me tell you. So in the water and honestly things are feeling exactly the way I want them to feel. So I'm swimming along at a nice comfortable aerobic pace but it's really controlled. I'm not pushing too hard but I also still feel like I'm swimming along quite smoothly. Water, check my watch and I've swam just over an hour which is exactly what my goal time was in the swim. So at this stage of the day I'm feeling really good honestly, I'm exactly on track. Push it, you can get out the bike. Push, push. It's a fairly smooth transition. I wasn't rushing anything too hard because the entire time I'm just trying to think, okay, stay calm, stay relaxed. It's a long day ahead. We just got to get through this one nice and efficiently. Chris Pike, Stephen White, Marco Pacey, Joshua Firth, and a Campbell Wallace. Nice sunnies. Lots of multi sport colours, that's a Ted Ritt. James Knox, Luca Townsend, and Jonathan Roberts of Sopson. Go, Locke! 
Go on. So starting out the bike, and for the first few kilometers, it becomes pretty apparent that I don't feel like I have much power in my legs. But I think to myself, okay, this is exactly what I felt like last year. And after about 20 to 30 kilometers of riding, my legs came good and they were fresh for the rest of the day. So mentally at this stage, I'm basically just like, okay, get through the first half an hour to an hour. Then your legs should wake up and we'll get in through the rest of the day. Go lucky. Push it. Go lucky. You got this. Push yourself. Back yourself. Back yourself. Go. Now, after two hours on the bike, um, it became pretty apparent that my legs weren't switching on. I just couldn't push power anywhere near even what I would do in training. And for some reason in the race, I was really struggling to push anything close to what my goal line and power was. And this is the point where I started to get pretty concerned because if my legs haven't switched on by now, it's going to be a pretty bloody long day. So what I do is I basically double my nutrition plan. I start taking on way more Gatorades and way more gels. My plan was roughly one Gatorade, one gel per hour, but something I really believe in nutrition wise is to not have anything too rigid. So if I wanna increase it, I can increase it. And if I wanna decrease it, I can decrease it. And when I really didn't feel like I have much strength to give on the bike, I thought, okay, if I'm ever gonna take a risk and try and increase my nutrition, it might as well be now because I don't have a whole lot to lose. If my legs don't actually switch on here, it's gonna be a pretty slow and pretty long day. So I start grabbing extra gels from the aid stations and doubling down on the Gatorades, trying to drink and take on as much as I can. But it's really to no avail and I'm not getting any stronger on the bike. Now after a bit over three hours, so somewhere around the 110 kilometer mark, that's the point where my back seizes up worse than it ever has before. And this is really frustrating because it's the same problem I experienced last year at around the same distance. And it's something that I thought I had addressed and been working on over the last 12 months. And yet again, I'm experiencing the same problem here, pure deja vu. And it's actually worse this year than it was last year. And this is probably the point in the race that it became a real mental battle because I could look down at my times and I knew I was way off track for what I was hoping to do. And when you've still got the best part of a third of the bike course left and the whole marathon, that was uh, certainly a mental challenge, um, knowing how much I had left to do that day and how I was feeling at the time. I think that's really what the mental test was because going into this race, I had fairly good expectations. I've done a lot of prep leading into it and then it's basically, it's the first real Ironman I've done in 12 months and I've trained for almost nothing but Ironmans for 12 months. So there was, I felt like I had a lot of pressure going into this one and I had some pretty good expectations I wanted to do around that nine hour 30 mark. Um, and so when I looked down at my watch and I realized I'm completely off track, I'm actually going slower than I went last year. Um, yeah, I just knew that it was a tough day ahead and that it wasn't going to be a very impressive performance here, but it's going to be a real mental battle. Let's go. This is great footage. Push it. Push it. This has been a rough bike leg. Has it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's right. You got the run to come. It's your best leg. Best leg to come. That's it. Nearly there. Nearly there. Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. Good stuff. That's what we want to see. Push, push, push. Oh. And a wheelie. Oh. And a wheelie. up now. Yes. All down. So after the Matthew Flinders drive hill, I look down at my quad and it is basically, it looks like it's got a crease in it and it is a constant cramp going on in all four of my quads on both sides. And they look like they're almost folded in half because they were at full flex with these cramps. And when I had 5K left on the bike and I'm just trying to roll back into town, there's plenty of hills, but I'm trying to essentially just take as much pressure off my legs as I could on the downhills, even just holding my weight. So without actually pedaling, just holding my weight, my quads were in full cramp. And at this stage, basically all that was going through my head is, oh my God, I have got a very long walk ahead of me this afternoon because I couldn't even stand on the bike. And I thought, how in the world am I about to run a marathon? So off the bike, five hours, 47 minutes for a total time that is five minutes slower than what I went last year. 
off only about five or six months of training last year. So yeah, <laughs> not much to say on that. In the transition to, I think we got this one done in three, three and a half minutes. So fairly smooth, but look at this stage, I'm not rushing anything. I'm just trying to conserve energy because I really am struggling to comprehend how I'm about to run 42 kilometers. But out on the run and I start to try and shake my legs out. And feel all right, like energy wise, but first cramps like the entire bike ride 180 yeah. k straight yeah and then my back now is the main thing holding me back okay. like it's my back's aching like yeah. i wouldn't believe yeah but this is 430 pace that's good so like i don't know just hold if it, i can yeah. hold it it's good but it just hurts a lot and i'm only 3k in okay. so oh. see how we go Push i think up in the tank yeah that's it, that's it. here's oh. the fam yeah, I don't know. I mean, are just great. Even yeah. if I'm having a bad day, you know, there's still loads of fun. So, absolutely, it's just good to have everyone here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you know, might be uh, getting one of the glow sticks of Shane this afternoon, but that's all right. Oh, that's still right. good fun. Lovely day for it. Um, oh. well done, mate. the bike was just so brutal. Like, yeah. I don't know. As soon as I got on the bike, like, I just didn't have anything to give. So weird. Yeah. Anyway, here's what it is. It is. Carry right. on. We'll push it. You've only got to see what I can do. Now, after about 20 kilometers on the run, my legs started to shut down again, and it became apparent that I wasn't going to be able to salvage this with a very good run. Let's go, mate. You're moving up the ranks. Let's go. Let's go. Righto lock, let's move it now, pin the years back. Hold on, Lockie. Oh, look Gutsy oh, effort. Gutsy. Have a good one, mate. No worries. Apparently, we're only looking at me if they look. What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. I feel like everyone's just going that way. Qualification number one is able to ride a bike. Congrats. Congratulations. Good effort. Tough day. Very, Very tough, tough day. day. Yeah. yeah. Way harder than I expected. Look, it's not, not the result I was after, but. Still, Still happy. Around 10.30? 10.30. Yeah. It's all right. It's a good yeah. effort. Um, tough day for everyone. Yeah. Everyone saying how tough it was out there. Yeah. And um, you pushed right. through. Bit of cramp there towards the end. Cramps from the moment I got on the bike. Yeah. All day. Yeah. And I don't know, don't know why. Like, yeah. I'll, well, I'll have to have some time to sort of sit back and think yeah. about it. But honestly, yeah, like I just did not feel like... Yeah. I had it in me today, but you have you have those sort of days. Uh, it was hot yeah. as well. Yeah, it was quite hot, so you're probably you know losing a bit of fluid. But yeah, certainly go back to the drawing board now and see what you can improve on. Exactly right. Like just go back and figure it out. But it's a character building day, and yep. yeah, I'm still happy. Like I think I said it in my last video. Like there's so much more to doing an Ironman than like a fast time or an yeah. age group result. So I'm still pretty stoked, and absolutely, yeah, it's good to get it done. Uh, I think. Last checkpoint, you were third. So, so there's still a chance there. So you chance. might need a little medal, That's but right. um, you know, it's not what you're here for. But. It's not what I'm here for. I'm just you know, stoked to have you here, Lauren, family. Yeah. And there's that many day. people out on course that were 
you know, giving me call outs and shout yeah. outs and support. So it was absolutely so stoked. Such a good day. Like even even though it's not the result I was after, like yeah. such a good day. So. Great work. How are you feeling awesome now? Are you, you you're pretty sore, cramping up, or I'm sore. Yeah, I'm still beat up. Like, but it's just it's not like. It wasn't my fitness holding me back. It was just like I almost felt like I had nothing in the tank. Like my legs had nothing to give. Yeah. Which is really weird. Yeah. So I don't know. It's um still it's good. Right. Still happy. So great work. It's all right. Right, I go and enjoy your pizza and ice cream. Thanks, mate. I'll, I'll see, see you, you after. soon. Righto. So look, it's not the day I wanted to have, but it's always still a great day doing an Ironman, and I'd consider this one to be a really valuable experience in mental perseverance. So. I guess for now, it's back to the drawing board though and trying to figure out what we need to work on moving forwards. Um, I do feel like I've got something to prove on that course now, so I'll almost certainly be back for Ironman Australia again next year. In the meantime though, I would really like to do some more Ironman races. Um, you know, sub nine is still the long-term goal in triathlon for me, so the more experience I can get, the better. And to be honest, the only thing stopping me from doing pretty much every Ironman on the calendar is just the financial side of it. So I'm gonna put the call out to some sponsors and see if I can get some more support behind me so that I can take on some more races. But look, either way, I'll be back again soon with more motivation than ever. Oh, Bingo!